Where will you find narcissists? That's today's video. Welcome to Narc Free Formula. My name's Freedom. Thank you for joining me. Um, in today's video, I'm going to lay out the top five places that you will find narcissists or a high percentage of narcissists or more to the point where narcissists will find their next victims. Um, you're going to want to stick around because number five um, is something that everyone needs to know. So I'm going to be quick. Um, let's jump straight into it, lovelies. All right. The first place that you will find a high percentage of narcissists are, are, is online. In online dating environments, um, they will use Facebook, any kind of social media um, as a tool to groom, as a way of um, finding victims, essentially, in the comment sections, you know, DMing you private conversations. Online is the perfect weapon um, and perfect feeding ground for narcissists. So bear that in mind the next time you're chatting with someone on social media. All right, number two, communal places that are focused on the body. So the body beautiful. So the gym. Um, places like that, uh, nightclubs is another one where people are going to you know, have a physical experience. They're going there to look good to kind of, you know, get into their body. Narcissists love that environment because they get a chance to show off. Um, they get a chance to, you know, look at themselves in all the mirrors. They get a chance to see themselves kind of reflected in other people's admiring gazes. Um, so definitely gyms and nightclubs. All right, the third place that... Um, narcissist will be found is where victims are inebriated so in the pubs and the clubs at the festivals at the rock concerts anywhere where people are going to be drinking too much under the influence of drugs um, and susceptible essentially you've got to remember narcissists and sociopaths and psychopaths at their very core are predators they they don't uh, look for love the way you know, normal um, people do. They look to get something, to use someone. They look for victims, essentially. And when we go in thinking that everyone sees the world like we do, we go in with both hands tied behind our back. All right, this one's going to be a surprise for lots of people. Number four, um, churches. Churches and, and places of religion. And the reason why narcissists go there is because no one expects them to be there. People assume that church going folk or religious people or spiritual people. So this can be ashrams. This can be any place where, like I said, religious and spiritual activity is occurring. No one is going to think that right in the middle of all of that is a narcissist. The irony of it is they're actually usually the one who is running the ashram, running, you know, like the Bikram yoga. Um, that's a, a an amazing um, Netflix show if you want to check that out. Um, Bikram, I think he was called. Um, so they're running the yoga um, clinics. They are the pastors, the preach, the preachers. They are the people that are getting all that energy, attention. Everyone's, you know, looking at them as though they are a leader, which brings me to my fifth and final point on where you will find narcissists. You'll find narcissists online on narcissism channels. Any environment that allows a narcissist to put themselves in a position of power and authority, where they have a mass of people looking up to them, um, list, hanging on every word, where they can um, carefully um, create an image, a mask, a personality, where they can curate it to look a certain way. You know, they can delete all your comments. Anyone who challenges them, they just delete and block. I mean, there's healthy deleting and blocking, and then there's what the narcissists do, and it's just to create this illusion that everyone loves them, that no one's got a bad word to say. So when people come into their channel and they read the comments, they think, oh, wow, this person's amazing. Everyone loves them. And it's this kind of um, societal brainwashing that occurs. Narcissists are out there. They are 
on the narcissism channels, you need to snap out of it because so many women, I see so many of you um, in the comment sections of people who are predators, abusers, um, narcissists, and just toxic in general. So that's the main one I really wanted to kind of um, hammer home because to be perfectly honest, when I first started up my channel, I wouldn't have even thought about the fact that there would be narcissists posing um, you know, on narcissism channels. But of course, the number one place you're going to find narcissists is where victims are, where there are people who are basically saying, I'm vulnerable, I'm hurt, I'm, you know, dazed and confused, my whole world's just collapsed, I need something. So if someone is trying to be um, your new thing, if someone is trying to instill themselves into your reality, so for example, they might be posting every single day and you're watching their channel every single day, they've actually, you know, created a trauma bond with you. They're actually, you're reliving your trauma thinking about it, talking about it, and they've become your new obsession. This is how these people are managing to get away with it. So my darlings, I'm actually going to do another video. I'll probably put the link in here. It won't be here straight away, but soon it will be because I haven't done the video yet. Um, about the jobs that narcissists often um, will uh, be in or jobs or roles, because I think that and this go kind of hand in hand. Anyhow, Thank you for watching. Um, as I always say, get narc free, stay narc free. But more than anything, like I said, just start paying attention to who you're watching online, you know, and think about what's actually going on there. If there's, if, you know, boundary, if there's not a kind of healthy boundaries, and you know, that's a bit of a red flag. If they're talking about their, their, um, if everyone who kind of challenges them, if they're talking about them as being haters and, you know, um, if they're not actually ever looking at their own behavior, you know, that kind of stuff, that's an indicator of narcissism. You know, there's that, that whole, oh, it, there's nothing wrong with me, it's everyone else. Narcissists will never look at their own behavior. So that in itself is a giveaway. All right. All right, lovelies. Thank you for listening. And yeah, get up free, stay up free. Bye.